Hello dear viewers, uh, welcome to yet another episode of our YouTube tutorial uh, video. So in this particular tutorial today, we are going to delve into uh, an issue that has really affected some of our uh, modeling uh, experts in the industry. Actually, one of the questions that I got from my inbox was how to ensure that uh, we have aesthetically smooth model uh, devoid of uh, rough edges and uh, sketchy uh, patterns that are usually associated with the uh, designs that we, someone is working on. And also, there's also another issue with when it comes to lagging of uh, uh, models, especially when you're trying to zoom in or out, and even when you're also trying to uh, rotate the particular model. So in this particular tutorial, I want you to uh, ascertain that these two scenarios are happening in this particular model that I'm working on. As you can see, you'll realize that uh, uh, the particular design has some uh, very um, uh, sketchy edges uh, and even the, the two shapes of the, the, the models are not quite uh, visible. You can see that uh, uh, some of the uh, objects or some of the shapes are not uh, particularly captured well. And even when I try to uh, pan, when I try to zoom in and out, you realize there's, there's a lot of lag. And also when I try to say the pan this particular design, you realize that uh, I'm also uh, having some rough aspect to it. So one thing that I want to uh, achieve with this particular tutorial is to ensure that I am getting uh, the shortest time between uh, panning in and out of my design and also that I'm kind, uh, kind of achieving an aesthetic appeal to this particular model that I'm working on. So when you realize or when you encounter such a problem, one thing that is apparent is that uh, some of the edges of uh, the model are not refined. So how you can do that is to simply head to the view uh, panel, click on it, then locate the edge size, click on it and you will locate some of the uh, particular tools that have been checked under that uh, particular extension. So one thing that we will do is to uncheck each and every uh, uh, aspect of that uh, command then you'll only remain with the edges as the only priority that uh, we want for now. So I'll uh, uncheck the extension, then click on view again and uh, uncheck uh, depth skew, click on view again and uh, uncheck profile. As you can see, as I'm going on, you'll realize that uh, the, the model is becoming more brighter and the smoothening over time. Uh, then you click on edge style again and then you uncheck the back edges and uh, now on the final design you will see that uh, all those uh, rough edges all those uh, aesthetically unappealing uh, models are not visible and you can now see the the true shapes the true uh, identity of the objects that we are working on so another thing that you will notice that uh, our rotation is now very swift, uh, very, very swift, very swift. I'm not even able to struggle with, uh, with the trying to rotate anything. Yeah, so you realize that uh, this is so swift and very efficient, and I'm able to uh, zoom in and out also. Zoom in and out uh, a bit faster. Let me check that. Yeah, you realize that I'm able to zoom in and out. Uh, wherever I want. Let me also check on the the pan tool. Let me see this. Yeah, you can realize that this, this is very swift, very swift, and I'm able to uh, view each and every corner of my of my uh, model that I'm working on very efficiently. Yeah, so that is how you solve uh, such uh, lag and such. Uh, Allow me call them blurred uh, dimensions of, of, of your model when you are work, when you're working on any of them. So we have come to the end of this particular tutorial, and I want to thank each and everyone who is commenting and even requesting uh, 
a tutorial that you need to work on kindly uh, like comment and even share with your, with your peers so that we may be able to uh, envisage a growth in our channel so thank you for your time and i wish to leave you at that and see you in the next tutorial